We've told you about the Denver Police Department's new policy requiring less traffic stops for low level offenses like expired tags or driving with the headlight out. Yeah, we got a lot of questions from you about this, asking why police are headed this direction. The problem solvers got to work asking what drove police to make the policy change. And Fox 31's Gabrielle Franklin has the new insight. Yeah, you've probably heard about Denver police backing off of traffic stops for minor violations. Well, those involved in the policy making behind this change say that that doesn't mean that this will be a traffic free for all. It's just for minor violations that aren't a safety threat. There's very little use of automated speed enforcement in Denver, partly because state law previously restricted it. But as of last summer, that changed after Governor Polis signed a law allowing localities to mail traffic violation notices when an automated vehicle identification system detects a violation. Automated enforcement refers to the use of uh, cameras and radar to detect when a car is going over the speed limit and then a ticket is sent to the owner of the car in the mail. And research has shown if people get that ticket once, they're very unlikely to speed in the future. Jill LaCantori is the executive director of the Denver Streets Partnership. The partnership was a part of a task force formed in 2020 to reimagine policing and public safety. The group recommended police move away from officer initiated enforcement. And the city has not yet started taking advantage of the opportunity to really expand the use of automated enforcement. So we're calling on them to do so while continuing to attend to these equity considerations. Community groups are hoping the change keeps Denver streets safer for drivers, police and pedestrians too. A lot of the conflict between police and community members often plays out. That is the primary way that community members interact with the police is through traffic infractions. And we've just seen too many times over and over in Denver and across the country, those interactions can escalate and lead to violence and sometimes even death. And another part of making this vision for making Denver streets safer are better street designs. That means more things like crosswalks, bike lanes, and safety signs so that drivers will know when they're in violation for themselves. Reporting in Denver, Gabrielle Franklin, Fox 31. All right, our thanks to Gabrielle.